Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. Today I'm going to be replacing the radio in my car and the old Focus here. Um, for the main reason is we have the new rule that has been uh, just uh, implemented into the state of Maine that you have to have hands-free when using the uh, phone. Well, a lot of cars come with it built into the uh, radio, and I want one. So I have been using this little device here, and it works pretty good. The phone Bluetooth to this, and you put it on the visor, but... I kind of want to step it up a little bit. So I went and bought this. This is the uh, XD Vision Radio uh, 6.2 inch touchscreen multimedia DVD receiver. And uh, has all the doodads that the newer vehicles have. So went ahead and got that. Got uh, a couple of the uh, connectors so it will hook up to the, the Ford electrical system. And I also got an adapter plate here. So with everything here, we're looking at about uh, 89 bucks or so. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing installed. All right, first thing we need to do is remove this face. And I think that just pops off, if I remember right. Just take a screwdriver and just kind of pop that out of there like that. There we go. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way as best we can. Just grab all the screws out of there. Okay, there's the radio. Plenty of wire. Let's pull the antenna out and the main connection. Okay, that wasn't too bad. If I was a car thief, I'd be go out the door down the road. All right. Next, let's go ahead and uh, look at our new radio and see what we have. And it looks like that new plug plugs right into there. All right, open up the uh, radio, and here's the plug that goes into the back of the radio, and here's the plug that goes into the wiring harness of the car. And uh, we have a little bit of a difference here. Uh, this has 20 wires, and this one here only has 14. So um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to match up all the colors that I can. One of them here shows like a, 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 an antenna or a power antenna or something. So I don't have a power antenna on this ride. So I'm just going to hook up all the wires that are color-coded and match, and then we'll give it a try. Okay, after getting into this, I realized that a lot of these wires are for maybe a newer model uh, Ford. Uh, this got uh, this does not have some of these features: steering wheel control, back controls, and that type of stuff. But all the other wires matched up very, very well. So I decided rather than just tape them, I'm going to go ahead and solder all these connections and then solder uh, and then tape them. So, and let's just go ahead and uh, solder those connections together. All right. Once you get it all soldered and you got the uh, got them all taped up, um, we can move on. Now on these ones here, I didn't want to take a chance of those shorting out and doing anything, so I just kind of taped the ends of those, uh, the extras there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug this in to the wiring harness of the car, and we're going to take our new radio. And I thought what I'd do is try this out first, just to see if it's going to activate before we went ahead and installed it with the adapter plate. Oh, we have a stop. All right, attention, remove transit screws before installing. Okay, well, we have the antenna. And we have the plug that came with it. All right. Okay, I'm going to turn the car on, see what we get. Okay, we have AM, is it touch? Yes. Alright, so, FM, FM, AM, alright, I'm not going to get too carried away here, it does work, and now I'm going to go ahead and shut the car off, alright, so that's good news, everything seems to be working. 
Uh, so now what we need to do is uh, dig out the adapter plate. Again, I bought this as well to adapt it to this dash. So let's see if we can screw that up. <laughs> So there's not a whole lot to this. Actually, there's just three pieces to it, and there's some spacers if needed. And I don't believe I need the spacers uh, to kind of set it out a little bit further uh, from the the unit itself. But I have them just in case, and they just kind of go right in there. Um, but all you need to do is, this is kind of slick. You just kind of set it in like that, and go like that, and it's in. And now these are where you're going to be bolting it in, like that. So it's going to go in just like you took the old radio out. And once you get the radio in, like this, then you're just going to kind of feed that in. There's these little holes right here to match it up. It lines right up nice. It's really a nice uh, system. It's just going to be just like that. All right, so now we need to put the radio in. That is going to go in like this. Like that. Now once you get the unit on there, it doesn't come with the screws. It says in the directions to take the screws out of the old radio. Well, the old radio doesn't have any screws in it, so I had to go to Lowe's and pick up some 5mm uh, panhead uh, machine screws uh, to install this on here. So go ahead and install those. Where this is universal, you've got many of mountain holes. And then do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Just gonna kind of line that up a little bit. Good. All right, let's go ahead and get our screws back into it. Okay, then just take your dash and just snap that back in. Hope everything lines up. Look at that. Okay, well there it is, it's getting kind of dark here, so I want to make sure that I show this off. I really like it a lot, so if I ever want to put the other one back in, I can. Uh, I'll just kind of keep this off to the side, if I have to get rid of the car or anything. Uh, but I'm real happy with this so far. It's got a lot of features that I'm going to have to kind of fool with. But overall, with the adapter plate and the electrical and everything, I think it was at $89 and $90. I'll put everything down below so you can check it out. Um, but um, that's all there is to it, really simple. I probably, probably did not have to go with the electrical connection. I probably could have just spliced into the system, but I wanted everything to go as smoothly as possible, and it did. The directions that it came with on the adapter plate actually talks about uh, taking the vehicle out of gear and sliding the uh, shifter back so you can bend things back a little bit, but I'm really not in a location that I can do that uh, safely, so I kind of moved it around as much as I could. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I'm going to enjoy the radio, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.